It is hard to imagine that this is anything but a swamp in the shadow of a mount. But this water channel is part of Kano's ancient wall, once a unique structure for the fortification that drew visitors from around the world to help develop and define the city. The Kano city wall was built upon three paces. The first pace is around 11 to 12th century. This is the first pose. Okay. The first shape or the first piece of Kano city wall, 100 years, from 1100 to 1200. As a center for Islamic learning and scholarship, Kano is part of the seven walled cities that made of the House of Fulani Kingdom of Northern Nigeria. The city's wall, built between 1095 and 1134 by the then Emir of Kano, Gijimasu, is about 15 meters or 50 feet high, with 15 gates around it, made up of the Dala Hill, the Emir's Palace, the Kurmi Markets, and the 500-year-old diapets for the defense of its people. Erecting the Kano City Wall, wall just like preparing for a war. Because <coughs> at that time, there was uh, so many state or, or so many states that are trying to come and fight Kano. More especially Borno is there, mm. Kwarara is there, Kasina and others. All you know that that, that time it was a, a time we will say that it's just like a time of war. Who are the if you are powerful over the other, you'll just go out there and capture them and at times sell their people as a as a slave. Mm. So that's why that uh Yiji Masu think that okay, how do I make peace? in my place. Let me erect this. Let me start erecting the wall. The famous 15th century Kurmi Makia tells a story of how merchants from around the world traded in Kano for generations, while the walls and guilt help protected as a commercial hub of the sub-Saharan Africa. But nature and man haven't been kind. 80% of the wall is gone. Modern structures and other encouragement mad its beauty and prevented it from being listed as UNESCO World Heritage Site. That is the, the, the problem that uh, prevent, us, uh, prevent us to be on the uh, uh, UNESCO list. It was, that is the, because of the, uh, the encouragement by, some, uh, by the government and some individuals that make us not to qualify it for that uh, tentative lease. Mm. Meanwhile, competition from imported fabrics sold at the popular Canton Quarry textile market, these 500-year-old dye pits now appeared almost useless, although it remains popular among locals and tourists. Despite continuous fading glory of Kano city wall and gates, there have been attempts by some concerned authorities toward rebuilding some of the gates. The Emir's ancient palace in Kofar Kudu has been rehabilitated. The popular Sabor Kopa has been reconstructed. Kofar Dang Agundi, Kofar Gadankaya, and a few other gates were repositioned and renovated. Nevertheless, modern structures are fast replacing the last peaceful reminders of its glorious past. More than 80% uh, or 90% is already gone because of encouragement, uh, 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 weather, uh, weather. Uh, weather has contributed to uh, the, the destruction of the part of the city wall and a lot of uh, encouragement. And uh, people, still people are using human activities because people are, we, we, we always you get people uh, when they're using the part of the wall, uh, taking the part of the wall to refill their own, uh, to, to fill some of their, uh, some part of their buildings. At the foot of this hill that the Emir of Kano Gijmasu first started building the walls, visitors still do come here every year for traditional ceremonies. But there are no more guards or gates to protect it, not even a sign to mark it. However, the expectations of most Kano people is that efforts towards preservation, protection and promotion of Kano city wall and gates needs to be undertaken quickly. Otherwise, history will be harsh and unkind.
to the present generation of Kano people and indeed Northern Nigerians. Idris Jubrin, Trust TV News, Kano.